When you're using Firestore with React, it's really handy to use a set of hooks. These are done by a third party and they're in a package called React Firebase Hooks. You only do an NPM install on that, either from the command line or if you're in WebStorm, go ahead and add a new NPM script that will do the install for you. Once you've done that, it really provides three new functions. You have use doc, use collection, and use collection data. The first, use doc, takes a document ref. And the use collection and use collection data take queries. These are what you're going to normally be using instead of either get doc or get docs or using an on snapshot. And these are hooks, just like a use state, for instance, is a hook. So it's going to return you an array of values. All of these will return an array of value loading error. What these are going to do is install a listener. We'll install a listener for the given doc ref or install a listener for the query you provide. Just like we saw in on snapshot, there is a listener that's going to be there. However, value is not available immediately after you call this. Let's say you put one of these calls in a component. The first time the component renders, loading is true. And the other two are undefined. What will happen then is the listener that this have installed is going to get called back. And when that listener gets called back, it's going to re-render the component. The second time the component renders, which itself is a re-render, then loading is going to be false. And potentially an error might have occurred. Let's say, for instance, we did a query on a non-existent index, then we would get an error. Let's even back up a second. While loading is true, what are you going to do? In this component, this gives you the ability to render something that says loading. One hopes it's not going to be up for very long, that it's going to be very quick between the time we render the first time and the time we render the second time. But if we have a slow network connection, for instance, it may take a while. Or if we have a lot of documents that are coming back, it may take a while. It gives us an ability to, by looking at the loading, decide that we're going to return some different JSX than if loading were false and value were defined. So basically, either loading is true, or error is defined, or value is defined. And that's really what you need to be checking. If you do have an error, presume you're going to put up an error message. Don't look at the value. Only if loading is false and there's no error will value be there. Normally, though, in the second time, the loading is false and we'll actually have a value. And the value is going to be one of three things, depending on which of these calls you made. The value is going to be either a document, if we used use doc, we're going to get back a document. And what can we do? The value will be a document. So we can then say doc.data, for instance, to get out its field and do something with that. Or if we called use collection, value is one of these three things. It's either a document or it is a snapshot. If it's a snapshot, what are we going to do? We might call snapshot dot for each, for example. And then we will get each of the documents and we can do a dot data on there. Probably the most useful one is use collection data. And if we call use collection data, then when on second or subsequent times we get back a value, what's that value going to be? That value is actually going to be an array of our documents after having called data. It's going to be an array, basically, of the return result of calling dot data for each of the elements in our snapshot. We make our query, and we get back then an array in order, as specified by the query, of the documents, fields, and values. Second and subsequent times, we know loading should be false, and then we're going to get our values. 
if we call, for instance, use collection data on our restaurants, then our component is going to, the first time it's going to render and we should put up some sort of a loading, because loading is going to be true. The second time, we're going to go ahead and get all our restaurants. And if we use use collection data, restaurants are just going to be in this array here. So that's exactly how we want them. And then let's say something about those restaurants changes. Either someone on a different machine adds a restaurant, then all of a sudden, use collection data has a listener installed, and it will notice that the listener has changed, and it will again cause this component to re-render, and now our value is going to be an array with the modified restaurant. If we are using a query that limits us, let's say we have a query that's only looking at cuisine of brunch, then whatever changes get made to our collection of restaurants that doesn't involve a brunch cuisine, we're not even going to re-render. Right? We'll only re-render if we have a new brunch restaurant, or a deleted brunch restaurant, or a modified brunch restaurant. And in that case, our component will re-render, we'll get our new value, and we will then go ahead and render this new array. If you're using Firestore with React, I highly recommend using the hooks. It's much simpler than using the Firestore API directly, because that Firestore API is an asynchronous API, and it just doesn't mesh as well with React as it could. So the hooks make a nice way to deal with that.